For me, I've always uh, considered coaching as part of my 360 degree uh, feedback. Uh, and I've always benefited from, from, from coaching. I get coaching from different people, really. Uh, from people who are not necessarily related to my own domain uh, of work. Uh, they could be political leaders, they could be business uh, leaders, and they could be uh, social uh, leaders. Coaching is very important because it gives you a different perspective from uh, a perspective that you can get within your uh, own work, whether from your manager or from your colleagues, because it gives you an external perspective on your uh, progress and your area of development and on your area and your strength as well. So coaching, uh, I always found uh, coaching as an uh, independent uh, advice that you can get from someone else. Uh, an advice that is not biased or uh, influenced by uh, internal issues related to your work. So uh, that's, I think, the most important part of coaching. I think everybody needs a coaching, whether you are a woman or a man or entrepreneurs or even a professional or even within your house. Everybody needs coaching and coaching is, 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 is all about uh, advice, it's all about sharing. I think uh, it's a unique idea that uh, uh, aim at uh, development of human capital and this is a very important topic uh, for us in the United Arab Emirates. It is something in line with also what the government is trying to do is something in line with what is also private sector trying to do. So developing more coaches, uh, promoting the idea of coaching, uh, making coaches and coaching available to those who cannot either afford to have coaches, to those who don't know what is coaching, I think it's a very unique uh, project and I think I look forward to also work with, 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 with the team and also hopefully promote this to uh, my network also to encourage people to also be part of it. I uh, use coaching and I use 360 degree uh, very frequently. I ask a lot of questions before I make any decision. I look at what other people did. So I look at also, you know, uh, past decision and past uh, experiences. And I also try to read. Uh, and 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 uh, uh, you know develop my know-how about the subject that I I need to uh, decide about. So I think there are a lot of work, uh, there are a lot of materials and information that are available today that can make uh, the decision-making process much easier. Uh, of course, with availability of um, of internet. Uh, but I think also uh, having the right advice, the right people around you, does help. And uh, knowing how to use all of these materials also very important because sometimes we think, okay, everything is available in front of us. We have the internet, we have the, our managers, we have our advisors, we have our consultants. But the question is, do we know how to use them? That's another question, uh, you know. And that's why I think a lot of people fail because the materials, the tools are all available. But the question is, how we can use these materials to make a decision? And I think those two. Uh, Aspects are very important.